Hey guys, Dan here from Wayne Manor North, and I am here to give you an exclusive look, first look, at my haul from New York City Comic Con. Now, I'm going to put a couple of asterisks on this. Uh, one, I am toasty toast from the past four days of uh, dragging myself around New York Comic Con. Had an absolute blast. I'm sure you guys have seen it all in the group, in the Facebook group, and Chris's videos. Just had the time of our lives. We uh, just hanging out getting to see each other after a pretty long hiatus with COVID. Uh, but we, uh, we just had such a great time. Met countless amazing artists, some of which I'm gonna talk about here in a minute as I take you through the hall. Um, just getting the opportunity to see each other in person was amazing. Getting to meet a number of fans of the channel that came up and you know asking for pics and just getting a chance to chat and say hi was just incredible. So. Uh, what I'm going to do without further ado is take you through some of my haul. Again, second asterisk, um, not everything is here. I've got a whole bunch of books uh, that I had signed by various artists. I'll talk about a few of them here as I go through the haul, but those books are now off to CGC. Um, I bought two amazing canvases uh, from Alex Ross, one of which I was able to take home with me. I bought it from the Alex Ross booth. Uh, they had it on display in their gallery all weekend, and uh, at the end of the weekend, I was able to take it home. So that was super, super exciting. And uh, the other one is being reframed um, that I bought from our good friend Charles Carosa over at Choice Fine Collectibles. Uh, he and Ari, the owner, and their team were really great to work with. And uh, for the second time in as many New York Comic Cons, I purchased a piece with Charles. Again, it's just always a pleasure working with him, and I can't recommend him enough. But we'll talk about that piece uh, a little bit here, but mostly another time I'll do a review of that. So, uh, again, without further ado, why don't we dive right in, and I'll show you what I've got. All right, guys, I've got, as you can see, this is pretty raw. Uh, this is... You were looking at the floor of Wayne Manor North here where I've got everything just kind of laid out. So here's some of the amazing artwork that was picked up this weekend and we'll take it, I guess, one at a time for the most part. This piece was done, of course, this is by Jock. Um, this is a lithograph on um, museum rag with the deckled edge. Uh, I don't know, I think it's 16 by 20 or so, but uh, met Jock at the booth and he was a, he, I asked him to sign it in large white ink there, so he did, and he wrote, that's his notation down there, One Dark Night, but just a beautiful print. I'm looking forward to framing that, getting it on the wall. We'll move left here. A couple of other things. This is this is that Court of Owls mask that comes with the uh, that new 52 uh, trade paperback. Had that signed by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo there on the top. I'm, to put together some kind of a display with that. I'm not exactly sure yet what that's going to look like, but I'm going to put together a display with that. All right, next up, uh, this is a bat that goes to the Batman Hush Batcave statue. Um, asked Jim to sign it. This is the second signature bat I have on the statue now. I've got Jeff Loeb, I've got Jim Lee, and in the future I hope to get Alex Sinclair, um, maybe Scotty Williams, just get the other parts of the creative team. But I've got the lead artist and the lead writer, which makes me kind of happy, so that's cool. Can you just hear the music playing? <laughs> no, just kidding. Hey guys, listen, um, I apologize. I don't remember, the artist's name is Jason. I don't recall his last name, and which makes me feel horrible. Um, I will note that when I post more pics of these, but he does these really cool, I, I wanna say these are about six by 12, but these kind of, you know, just looking into the eyes of these characters. And he did this set from the Batman. Uh, my good friend Johnny Perez from here in the group um, turned me on to this artist, asked me to pick up a set or two for him, which I did. But uh, those are really cool. I just think they're different. You know, if you've got a smaller area in your collection room, that's a great uh, little set to display. So I really like those. I think he did a great job. Scooting forward here on the floor. Uh, and again, I can't wait to, to frame all this stuff. I just, I have some ideas as to where I'm going to put it. Uh, we'll be swapping some art out. But anyways, you know, one of the best parts of New York Comic Con, of course, is Artist Alley. Uh, and one of the more fun parts about visiting Artist Alley, especially in New York, is getting the opportunity to meet new artists that you're just not familiar with. And one that I met that I wasn't familiar with, and thank you very much to my very good friend, Matt Martin. 
uh, here in the Batman statue collector community turned me on to this artist on day one and I am super glad he did. This is, as you can see, Stuart Sager. Uh, and Stuart has done cover art for DC and many others, but his style is just really, really cool. As you can see here, Batman Joker piece, this Batman piece. These are these particular ones are 11 by 17, I believe. This uh, Hush homage, which I couldn't pass up. Uh, Stuart Sager after Lee, as you can see there. And then, oh, a couple more in this size. Another Joker Punisher piece, which is kind of cool. Just thought that was really different. This Batman piece here. And then one last one, the Joker. On from Stuart for now, at least. I've got more to come uh, from him. This, of course, this print is from our friend Tony Daniel, good friend of the channel. This is uh, the cover from Detective Comics New 52, number one. It's one of my favorite covers. Uh, met Tony when this book came out in 2014 at uh, C2E2. Love the cover, have it in, I think it's a 9.6 signed, but I uh, had to pick up this print when I saw it on the wall. Next up, this is from Mark Silvestri. I can't remember what, I think this is from one of the, uh, it is, from one of the Batman black and white covers that he did. Just, just really cool, gritty cover. Love Silvestri's work. Really looking forward to Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo. Black Label series that's coming out from DC where Mark is the lead artist and writer. So that's coming out soon. Next up, another new piece. This is signed by Silvestri, who's the lead writer. This is um, Greg Capullo's variant cover for Joker, uh, Batman and Joker, the Deadly Duo, number one. This is the Capullo variant, or one of the two Capullo variants, and it's also signed by Capullo, and it's signed by Jonathan Glapion, who is a, uh, a writer um, involved in the project as well. Writer artist involved in the project as well. Next up from our friend Finch. This is, um, oh, I can't remember which cover. Again, guys, sorry, my brain is fried <laughs> from the weekend, but that's his little doodle up there from the bats of the bat signal. Uh, he signed the piece as well. I thought for Wayne Manor North, what's better than a snowy Batman? So we've got that. And we'll continue from the Jim Lee uh, hex bag they did the Kickstarter for. This is the print that shipped with the bag uh, when you participated in the Kickstarter. That was a few years ago. Um, always loved the print, always wanted it signed. So I brought it and asked Jim to sign, and he did. This is a page, um, love this cover. This is a page from Jim Lee's uh, IDW Legends, I think that's what it's called, or Legends or Legendary. Uh, series. The book is in 11 by 17 and is just full of all these really cool pieces of art that Jim did. Mostly Batman, but he also has some of his Wildcat stuff in there and X-Men stuff. Uh, but I brought that for him to print. I'm sorry, for him to sign. And then this is a look at the, uh, when you signed up for Jim's um, signature experience at New, uh, New York Comic Con, this is the, the piece that they were good enough to, to um, provide as part of that package. So um, stay tuned. I may have one or more of these available in an upcoming Rogues auction. So, really cool. Moving on, a uh, few more pieces. This is a really cool format. I think it's four, 14 by 24, maybe. But this is, again, from Stuart Sager. And I his work, guys, it just pops. And I'm not sure that it's going to come across on video, but wow. If you like the kind of gritty, you know, not polished kind of artwork that just to me reflects the, the the overall tone of Batman. I just think this is so much energy. I think the, his art is electric. I absolutely love it. So I picked up a few of these large format prints. I mean, look at that. Just really, really cool. Can't say enough about his work. So picked up three of these prints and uh, pretty excited about it. But let's move on. And lastly, on this side of the room, again, this is... Um, Greg Capullo's other number one variant for Batman and Joker, the Deadly Duo. And this is lithograph on the Deckle Edge Museum rag paper. See Greg signed it for me there. 
Just really love this one. High contrast on that orangey gold color I thought looked awesome. A lot of movement in the piece. Just really liked it. Okay guys, one of my favorite and unexpected pieces from this weekend was this large format. I believe it's 13 by 19, maybe even a little bit bigger. Uh, 125 sketch print from Jim Lee. This was, uh, they had this available when at Jim Lee's signing area. Um, this is number 49 of 50. Jim signed in pencil there. They always sign these in pencil, guys, if you ever kind of wonder about that, because pencil doesn't fade. So even if you didn't have it behind museum glass, which of course I will, um, pencil wouldn't fade even if you just had it behind regular glass. But the the sketch detail on this is really cool. I am all in for the new Batman run, beginning with 125, uh, with George Jimenez at the helm on the art. I uh, just really love it. And this is Jim's uh, variant cover for that. All right, guys, here's one of those two Alex Ross canvases I told you about. Super excited about this one. I've had my eye on it ever since I saw it released. This is Alex Ross's, one of his variant covers for Batman 125. This is number 14 of 50 of this edition. It is signed by Alex on this side. And in the frame, it sits at approximately 24 inches wide by 36 inches tall. And I can't wait to get it on display. Now, the other piece, I mentioned that I bought two canvases. I couldn't resist. The other one uh, I bought through Charles Carosa over at Choice Fine Art Collectibles. And that is, if you look it up, it's called Batman's Rough Justice. And that one is um, getting some final framing touches and will be out to me this week. And you'll see more about that on a future video. So very excited about that. All right, guys, one more stop on the haul video. Okay, let's look at some books. And this is a fraction of the books, guys. I might have mentioned we I had um, a whole bunch of books that I, you know, as I said, you can't get better than the, the, the list of artists that show up for New York Comic Con is, I believe, a second to none. Uh, so I took advantage of that opportunity, had a bunch of books signed and, and got them off right from the show floor to CGC. Um, with some help from my friends like Matt Martin and Chris and others uh, that helped me get that done. But this is um, these are the Raws that I brought home. And so these particular books you can see are signed. I just chose not to get these particular ones uh, cgc But this is the work that you might recognize from what I was just showing you a few moments ago from Stuart Sager. This is the Joker, uh, You're the Villain, number one variant that he did, uh, one of them. This is another one that he did also signed there at the bottom. And this is a third one that he did. And this is, uh, you might recognize this from the artwork. I got the print of this one. So love his covers, love his books. This was really cool. This is an ash can variant uh, of Batman and the Joker, Deadly Duo, that's coming out soon from DC Black Label. And this one is signed, as you can see there, by Mark Silvestri and, and my good friend Eric, uh, Eric B. from the show, a fellow rogue. Um, this one was handed out you know, they were handing these out after the panel that Mark uh, was involved in, and that was a Jim Lee panel. And on the way out the door, they were handing these out. And um, there was like a few were signed, most weren't, but a few were signed. And uh, Eric was good enough to give me this one. Um, Silvestri is not amongst his favorites, and he knows that it, he is around uh, amongst mine, and he gave this to me. So I love having a signed copy. It's fantastic. And then a few books. This one came to me via Matt Martin. Uh, Matt bought a Jim Lee hex bag that came with a few books. There were duplicates for him, and he was good enough to, um, to, to gift them over to me. So this is Batman 100, of course, by our good friend Gabriel Del Otto. It's Batman 100. Ah, this one. One of the, an artist that I only recently kind of stumbled upon. This is Don McTeague's work. Uh, I have a Harley cover or two from her. She was at the show. You can see she signed the book there at the bottom in green that matched the green that was already on the cover, the little accent colors. I think she does a beautiful job um, with uh, Punchline and Harley and, and other women in the comics and uh, just love her work and pick that up. 
And speaking of beautiful covers by Natalie Sanders, this of course is Batwoman and uh, absolutely terrific representation. Beautiful, looks like cover girl. It's hard to believe that that's actually a painting, uh, but Natalie does a phenomenal job and that's one that I've been looking for for a while. Bumped into it there and picked it up. Oh, and lastly, this is part of that AOK -okay from my friend Matt Martin. This was also in his bag and a duplicate for him in that new Jim Lee Hex bag, and uh, which I know he's going to love. This was in there as well and was the last of the raw books. So pretty good raw book haul, but man, wait till you see the CGCs. They are crazy. Okay, guys, that wraps it up here for a quick look at my New York City Comic Con haul, or at least most of it. Uh, certainly more video to come on those other missing pieces, certainly the CGC books, the other Alex Ross canvas. Super excited to get that, hopefully uh, as soon as later this week, uh, if not next. Other videos to come, guys. Uh, sneak peek. Hopefully you all caught it uh, from one of the videos from New York City Comic Con that Chris posted. We did the live dinner pre-order. Uh, pre Both myself and Matt Martin did not order at dinner. Uh, I will be getting the Jason Fabok Detective 1000 Batman in uh, either later this week or maybe early next week at the latest. So I'm looking forward to that. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoy Chris's side of the haul here. And we will see you soon um, right here in the Batcave.